Let's dive headfirst into the world where imagination isn't just a playground, but the whole amusement park. Have you ever considered that within the vast, uncharted territories of your imagination, there are no tyrants, only willing subjects, no judgments, only reflections? Let's embark on a whimsical journey into the inner realms where punishments are merely fulfillments of states, like actors in a play directed by none other than you. Ever had one of those moments where you're daydreaming so vividly it feels real? That's your imagination flexing its muscles. But here's the real workout, believing in it. In the world of imagination, seeing is believing gets flipped on its head. It's believing that paves the way for seeing. You've got this inner self, the I am, lounging in the director's chair of your mind's movie set. This inner self isn't just some mystical, floaty concept. It's the real deal. The essence of who you are, beyond the labels and the roles you play in the day-to-day -day grind. Understanding and utilizing the I am. In this journey of self-discovery and imagination, remember Marcus Aurelius's wisdom. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Your imagination isn't just a fantasy. It's the canvas where your I am paints the reality you choose to live in believing in this inner self. It's like tuning into a radio station. Your frequency determines what you pick up. If you're dialed into doubt and skepticism, that's the static you'll hear. But tune into belief and suddenly, the music comes through crystal clear. It's about aligning your inner frequency with the reality you want to create. Have you ever asked yourself, how do I actually use my imagination? An often overlooked question. We're not just talking about casual daydreaming here. We're diving deep into the fabric of our minds. Typically, we use imagination like a flashlight, illuminating the corners of mundane day-to-day -day scenarios, often underestimating its true power. It's like owning a powerful engine but only using it to drive down the street. It's not about indulging in fleeting fantasies. It's a transformative shift, moving from the physical self to a boundless, imaginative self. Imagine the process as a realignment, a journey from the tangible to the realms of infinite possibilities. Most of us use our imaginations to replay past mistakes or worry about future anxieties, a mere trickle of its potential. But what if we used it instead as a powerful tool to reshape our reality? It's about moving from imagining the mundane to manifesting the extraordinary. Let's sketch a scenario. I'm in Denver, but let's say my heart is set on the vibrant pulse of Miami. Without a physical way to get there, I turn inward. In my imagination, I'm already there, feeling the balmy air, hearing the distant call of the ocean. It's not just a mental escape. It's creating a vivid, alternate experience in another dimension of my reality. In this imaginative journey, the inner me experiencing Miami is the authentic me. By affirming I am in Miami, I'm not indulging in wishful thinking. I'm bridging the gap between my current reality and my imagined one. To deny this is to ignore the immense power of the mind to shape and define our experiences. It's a shift from using imagination as a passive tool to employing it as an active, creative force. And it's not just about teleporting to exotic locations in your mind. It's a gateway to experiencing and ultimately crafting the life we desire. Instead of limiting it to replaying fears and regrets, we can use it to paint vivid pictures of our aspirations and goals. This approach can be applied to any aspiration, any dream. Want to feel the joy of achievement, love, or success? Imagine it. Feel it as vividly as you can. In doing so, you're not just imagining. You're creating a blueprint for your outer self to follow. This exploration leads us to an intriguing realization. Are we just a product of our current circumstances, or do we possess the ability to mold and shape our lives through the power of imagination? Our minds hold the key to unlocking endless possibilities. By harnessing the true potential of our imagination, we open doors to realities that were once mere figments of our imagination. Perhaps it's time for us to venture deeper into the unexplored territories of our minds, embracing the full capacity of our imagination to bring forth the lives we truly desire. The game changes when you stop letting the external world script your I am. Instead, let the inner man, your authentic essence, rise to prominence. 
This isn't about the outer, everyday you, the one caught up in the 9 to 5 grind, the one running errands. No, this is about tapping into the divine, eternal self, the one who can experience and be anything in the vast expanse of imagination. When I imagine I'm in the vibrant streets of Miami while I'm just sitting in my usual spot, there's no room for doubt here. Why? Because in my world of imagination, I am already soaking up the Miami sun. It's a matter of shifting perspective. As Neville puts it, change your conception of yourself and you will automatically change the world in which you live. It's about aligning your inner vision with your desired reality. The role of emotions and beliefs in shaping reality. Imagine your emotions as messengers, each one knocking on the door of your consciousness with a special delivery, insight into your beliefs. These beliefs, often hidden in the shadows of our subconscious, shape our reality. They're the scriptwriters of the drama unfolding in our minds. Now here's a thought to chew on. When something triggers you, it's not just a random annoyance. It's a reflection of a belief you hold, a part of you that resonates with that trigger. It's like discovering a hidden room in your mind where all your beliefs are stored. And guess what? You have the key. Ask yourself, what belief is behind this feeling? It's a simple question, yet it has the power to illuminate the beliefs shaping your reality. Remember, beliefs are not facts. They're perspectives we've adopted, often unknowingly. They could be hand-me-downs from our upbringing or borrowed from someone else's story. But here's the kicker. We can change them. Emotions, whether joy, anger, or sadness, are not good or bad. They're neutral messengers, letting us know when something doesn't align with our true self. Instead of shunning these emotions, let's thank them. They're showing us where we have work to do, where our beliefs need a makeover. So the next time you feel a surge of emotion, pause and ponder, what belief is this revealing to me? Is it a belief that empowers you? Or is it time to return it to its original owner? You're not a belief thief. You're a belief curator, choosing only those that resonate with your true self. As Bashar teaches, it's not what happens to us, but what we do with what happens that defines our journey. Every situation is inherently neutral. We give it meaning through our beliefs. Identify the core belief directing your perception, and if it no longer serves you, let it go. Mold it into something more empowering, something that aligns with the vibration you wish to hold. Practical techniques to enhance imagination. Now, you might be thinking, that all sounds great, but my imagination isn't exactly a blockbuster movie director. No worries, we've all been there. Sometimes our inner screen needs a bit of a nudge. So, let's talk about sharpening your imagination. It's like tuning a guitar. You want those thoughts to resonate just right. Not just any old daydreaming, but the kind that Neville Goddard, in his Power of Awareness, calls the real deal. He's like the Yoda of imagination, teaching us that assumption isn't just a fancy word, is accepting something as true without proof. But in the realm of imagination, this assumption becomes our creative power. To sharpen your imagination, Neville suggests engaging in thoughts where you can feel positive things and involve as many senses as possible. Your feelings are not just emotions, they're your compass in this imaginative journey. One exercise Neville highlights is a reflective practice at the end of your day. He advises, take a few moments and see if you can work backward how your day went all the way to the point of you waking up. This technique, drawn from memory, strengthens your imaginative muscle. It's like watching your day on rewind. Who knew spilling coffee could be so amusing in reverse? Another powerful tool is revision. It's not just about changing the past, but reshaping your perception of it, transforming your experiences into something more empowering. It's like being a time traveler in your own mind. Didn't like how something went down today? Well, in your imagination, rewrite that script. Turn that argument with the barista into a scene where you both end up laughing. It's your mind's movie. You call the shots. But hey, let's not just live in the past. Neville emphasizes the importance of right brain thinking, the cradle of creativity. He encourages whole brain thinking, where all your senses are engaged and active. Here's a fun exercise. Cook your favorite meal in your mind. Feel the knife slicing through those onions, 
and try not to cry, for real. Imagine the sizzle of the pan, the aroma of spices. It's like a feast for your senses, minus the dirty dishes. Or maybe you're a gym enthusiast. Picture lifting those weights, feel the tension in your muscles, the sweat on your brow. It's like a workout for your brain, no gym membership required. Music lovers, can you replay your favorite song in your mind? Note for note? And gamers, think about strategizing your next move or designing your character's skills. It's all imagination at play. The key here is to engage with purpose, joy, and focused awareness. It's like being the conductor of your own mental orchestra. Every thought, a note, every imagination, a symphony. Embracing imagination to shape personal reality. Imagination can do anything, but it's like a wild horse. You gotta direct it. In the book, The Power of Awareness by Neville, he advises that changing your assumptions is the root of the whole manifesting experience. If you assume something about yourself, then people and experiences are going to reflect that back to you. So if your situation is less than ideal, you might as well just change your thoughts about it. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I quote from the book, The great secret is a controlled imagination and a well-sustained attention firmly and repeatedly focused on the feeling of the wish fulfilled until it fills the mind and crowds all other ideas out of consciousness. Control your imagination. Sustain your attention. Control your emotions and turn your attention away from what doesn't fit your assumption. Walk with your head high in faith of your desired state. You are limited only by your uncontrolled imagination and lack of attention to the feeling of your wish fulfilled. That's it. You are only limited by you. No other forces or conditions, just yourself. So who are we really? We're imaginative beings, each with the power to shape our reality. Mastering this art is about understanding that your inner world shapes your outer world. It's not just about controlling what happens around you. It's about aligning your inner I am with the life you want to lead. When your self-concept is in harmony with your desires, manifesting them becomes as easy as breathing. You think it, you feel it, and before you know it, you're living it. In summary, the journey to mastering imagination is about realizing that you are the creator of your reality. It's about finding strength in your inner self and understanding that with a positive self-concept, the law of assumption works in your favor effortlessly. So as you step back into the real world, remember that the true magic lies within you. Your imagination is the canvas, your belief is the brush, and your desires are the palette of colors you choose from. As Neville Goddard eloquently puts it, imagination is my real self, and where he is, I, the outer self, will go. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of our journey. It reminds us that our true power lies within, in the realm of imagination, where we are free to create the life we envision. So go forth and paint your world with the hues of your imagination, for where your inner self leads, your outer self will surely follow.